The Alamo Bowl has Texas and Washington. Washington is a four-point underdog. And the total sits at 67 and a half. Uh, it's Thursday, December 29th. It's 8 p.m. Central Time on this one. And, of course, you know what I'm doing. Let's pull up the numbers. Let's see what we got here. Right now, I've got Washington favored by 1.39 points based on the last uh, six weeks of the regular season. Right? Uh, number eight, or week eight, through, what, week 14? Neither one of these played in a conference championship game. Nothing like that. All right. 8 p.m. Central Time kick. Uh, might be better for Washington. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm trying to play up an advantage here. Uh, this Washington defense has been bad, but like not not that bad. They're they're better than Oregon, I guess. Uh, number 89 PPA per drive on defense. Uh, that Texas offense uh, overall mm, has not been great, at least not at scoring points. Number 64 PPA per drive. That's predicted points added per drive since week eight. Uh, so it matches up fairly well against that defense. However. Washington's offense, number five in PPA per drive against Texas, number 43 PPA per drive on defense. What Texas wants to do here is run the ball, except that they have got two running backs that it appears have opted out of the game. Of course, Bino Robinson is out and Johnson is also out. Uh, so that number 28 PPA per rush for them, eh, like, it, are we sure that that's going to hold up here? Uh, number 17 in rushing success rate. Well, Washington's defense is number 105. So maybe they got somebody else that's like a third stringer that's kind of waiting in the wings to be able to do something big. That offensive line uh, could probably do some good things. Texas' uh, offensive line yards is number 33 in the country. Uh, Washington's defense, number 95. They can get pushed around a little bit. Uh, trying to pass the ball? Like, yeah, okay. Like, number 85 PPA per pass on offense for Texas. Number 75 on defense for Washington. Texas will be able to score some points. My issue is that I think that Washington will be able to score more because what they're really good at is the thing that Texas has a weakness in, that Texas secondary, kind of an issue. Uh, number 52 PPA per pass, well, Washington is number 22 on offense. Number 50 in passing success rate, Washington's offense is number one in the country. Nearly a 50% success rate passing the football. That's uh, That's an issue. Passing explosiveness, no, they're not very explosive on offense. Uh, Washington is not number 87 there, but they can be when they need to be. Uh, you're not going to get a whole lot of havoc on them, Texas's defense, because Washington's offensive line, number one in havoc rate allowed. They do not allow it, period. So uh, you look at passing downs PPA, even when they get behind the chains, which they don't do often uh, because it's only 27% of the time that they are really behind the chains. Uh, they're still number two in passing downs PPA. Number one in passing down success rate. Well, Texas's defense, number 81 in passing down success rate on defense. I think Washington can score a ton of points here. Like, a ton of points. So, you know, it, these are two pretty evenly matched teams. Uh, points per play margin, Texas is number seven and Washington number 18. Net points per drive, you've got a Texas number 10, Washington at number 11. Available yards margin, Washington number 10, Texas number 22. These two teams are a coin flip. There is no reason that there should be a four-point spread here. So give me Kalen DeBoer. Give me Kalen DeBoer plus the four. Yeah, I know that rhyme. That was good, right? <laughs> give, me, give me the Washington Huskies plus four on that one. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.